What's up guys, JV2017 here, and this is your multiplayer gun guide for the Type 95 Assault Rifle. The Type 95 is a 3 round burst rifle and is unlocked at level 32. Magazine size is average for assault rifles at 30 rounds per magazine. With extended mags, the capacity is increased by 50% to 45 rounds. ADS speed is also typical of assault rifles at 3 tenths of a second. The time it takes to reload is average at 2.76 seconds. The fire rate is the quickest of all assault rifles at 1,000 rounds per minute. Okay, let's make a few things clear. Everyone knows that the Type 95 is easily one of the best weapons in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Unfortunately, because of its infamous reputation, it's considered treason punishable by an unsub in the YouTube community if you even pick up this thing. Let's take a look at the proficiencies for the Type. Kick, Impact, Attachments, Focus, and Stability are standard for most weapons. Breath allows you to hold your breath for a more precise first shot similar to that of a sniper rifle. The most popular proficiencies for assault rifles seem to be Kick and... Yeah, well, just Kick. Honestly, the recoil of the Type 95 is so negligible that Kick feels like a wasted slot for a proficiency. Impact is an extremely underused proficiency and should definitely be considered for this weapon. Attachments is my personal favorite because of a certain combination of attachments that proves to be the best for the Type 95. The outrageous uproar that surrounded the Type 95 after launch resulted in a patch that lowered the weapon's effectiveness in close quarters combat. Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer increased the hipfire radius in an attempt to nerf this weapon. In my opinion, this attempt proved to be futile at best. The type is still very viable up close despite the nerf, and it's incredibly easy to just avoid aiming down sights altogether and still have success at short to medium range. Now let's look at the recoil, or lack thereof. As you can tell, this weapon is ridiculously accurate, rendering kick completely unnecessary. In general, assault rifles are most effective at medium to long range. Close up, the Type 95 deals 55 damage per bullet. At long distances, it deals 20 damage per bullet. This means that the Type can kill in 2 shots up close and 5 at longer ranges. Most weapons in Modern Warfare 3 have a 1.4 times headshot multiplier and this weapon is no different. Shots to the chest and the limbs deal a normal 1 times damage. The Type 95 is one of the most powerful assault rifles in the game in terms of damage per bullet, second only to the semi-auto MK14. At shorter distances, the probability of dispatching the enemy with a single burst is not only possible, it's highly likely. That being said, the Type loses a lot of its glory beyond its effective range. When dealing with targets at very long distances, it may take anywhere from 2-4 to four full bursts to take down the enemy, assuming that most of your bullets make contact. Let's take a look at the attachments available for this weapon. Your options for optical sights include red dot sight, ACOG, holographic, hybrid, and thermal. All other attachments include silencer, noob tube, rapid fire, heartbeat sensor, shotgun, and extended mags. Some may disagree with me, but I am just not a fan of the iron sights on this weapon. If you're in my boat, the red dot sight is my attachment of choice to avoid the ugly iron sights. The attachment of choice for many, including myself, is Rapid Fire. It increases the fire rate by 13.3%, which is particularly helpful if you need to get an extra burst or two into your enemies at long range. The only downside for the Type 95 would have to be its weakness at very long distances. A little known fact is that the M16 is actually more powerful at longer distances than the Type 95. But despite the M16 suffering less from damage drop-off, the Type 95 beats it in every other category. The damage is much higher at short to middle range, and the fire rate is much faster, making the use of the M16 only practical when the Type isn't unlocked yet. For a long range Slayer class, Recon allows you to paint targets on the minimap with lethal and tactical grenades. Quick Draw reduces ADS time and allows you to react quicker to surprise enemy attacks. Marksman illuminates hidden enemies by revealing their names above their heads in red. For a strong objective class, Extreme Conditioning allows you to sprint for longer distances and climb obstacles quicker. 
Blast Shield provides extra resistance from explosive damage. Sit Rep highlights red equipment through walls, making it easier to avoid and destroy traps. For Assault, Attack Helicopter, AC-130, and Juggernaut is a monster streak if you're patient. For the support package, choose Counter UAV, Advanced UAV, and EMP to annoy the hell out of the other team. And for Specialist, Sleight of Hand, Dead Silence, and Scavenger works well with both the Slayer and Objective class. If you're going for a MOAB or an incredibly high streak, the Type 95 is undeniably one of the best in the game. Low recoil, high fire rate, high damage, there's not very many reasons for you not to use this weapon. If you're not afraid of being screamed and cussed at by prepubescent teenagers in a game lobby, then by all means, use the Type 95. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please remember to click that like button, it would really help me out, and also look forward to my next episode, one of my favorite guns in the game, the PM9. Also, for more of these guides, tips, tricks, anything Modern Warfare 3, head over to my channel at youtube.com slash jv2017gameplay. Talk to you guys later. Peace.